Okay, so my question today is, does the child have any rights? And obviously, it's clear that I have a passion for children in a very funny way that is different from a lot of people here. But I will start with what the UNICEF website has to say. Your child has a right to a safe, nurturing school environment that respects their dignity. I'm particularly talking about the rights of the child today because questions around do, what child rights have come up a lot. And maybe parents and schools are not even fully aware of the rights that are clearly enunciated that all children have. The Convention on the Rights of the Child states that all children have the right to an education and protection from all forms of physical or mental violence, injury or abuse. And interestingly, bullying is no exception. Although designed for the safety and protection of children have to be provided for by adults and the government making a clear responsibility lie on the parents, the school, as well as the government. Although children and young people are covered under the Human Rights Act 1998, their rights are more clearly specified under the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, known as the UNCRC. Now, people usually ask the question, how do those, those kind of conventions play out in Nigeria? Nigeria has ratified most of these international treaties, and once you have ratified the treaty, it's applicable in your country. Although neither specifically mentions bullying, bullying behavior does breach a number of the articles in both. So I'm saying, alongside this, both outline the responsibilities of adults to protect and safeguard children and young people from bullying behavior. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child states it has 54 articles setting standards in healthcare, education, and legal, civil, and social services, which cover four broad areas. And these areas are survival rights, development rights, protection rights, participation rights. And what is a right? A right is simply a basic need. It's not an entitlement or an expectation. It's a, it's a basic need that is expected. Children need to be protected from bullying behavior so that they can survive, so they can develop and participate in a fulfilling life. And therefore, we're declaring today that bullying is a breach of children's rights. So, how do we showcase this? Apart from the other rights stated, we also have survival rights. What are survival rights? That's the right to survive and develop healthily. The impact of bullying behavior must be addressed in a way that meets the needs of those young people affected and involved. And once again, I say that adults share a responsibility to address any behavior that can harm the development of children. We need, what do you need to be happy and healthy? The positive impact of healthy relationships, supportive role models, inclusion, love and respect. And all these are things that can be undermined by bullying behavior. So what is it that society, we all need to do? And what are we advocating for today? We need to teach our children how to value and promote a healthy sense of respect for themselves and others in order to reduce the risk of bullying behavior. One other right that children also have is development rights. They have the right to relax and play. An excluded child by bullying behavior has a harmful impact on development, on their health and well-being. Once again, as adults, remember that rights of children can only be upheld by adults within them. We are responsible for shaping an inclusive culture where children, all children, can participate. Bullying and its impact can be detrimental to a child's capacity to learn, and this right also highlights an adult's responsibility to take young people's views into account when making decisions that affect them. A child's right to education can be denied if they refuse to attend or are removed from school because of bullying behavior. Staff and parents have a responsibility to change behavior that is making a child feel unsafe. It's upon us to develop, our, to develop children's talents fully. The impact of bullying on self-esteem and aspirations can prevent young people from reaching their full potential. Children need to be heard, and they have a right to be heard. And so it's time today to call on all adults, and more especially parents and adults with the duty of custody over children to listen to them and uphold their fundamental rights. And I think that maybe we have found those points and ways that we're going to use for advocacy mm -hmm. with the Lagos State Government as suggested by Helen and the other advocates here. And we have a point. How many points are agenda to work? Uh, we have <laughs> agenda. <laughs> what a lecture indeed. What a lecture indeed. So no, that, there was something she said that caught my interest. It's all about value system. You know, I've said this thing before, enforcing the right values. 
it's charity begins from the home. Mm -hmm. The person being bullied most time, uh, no, the person be, the person bullying, the bully most times the product of his home. Mm -hmm. Go and check out their home. Many of these children, perhaps from broken home or from home where their parents don't pay attention to them or don't show good example or see how their parents talk down on housemaid or whatever and they grow up with this attitude and when they get to school they feel it's okay to inflict pain and look superior to other students so it all boils down to values we have to be careful about what we do around our children yes children while i agree with that and i think it's really true i still think that there's a part that is usually under underemphasized the fact that when you talk to people over time people always say they feel unheard People really don't. So we, when we're growing up, it was constant. Children are seen and not heard. heard and yeah. so when people say, when the kind of classifications you put about where, how people that turn out to be bullies, some of the people that are bullies or that, were bull that bullied us or that grew, grew up in regular good homes, mm -hmm. sometimes not, being, not knowing or knowing how to behave, not knowing social skills, because some people don't even realize the imp that I'm bullying you. You just feel that, like there was an advocate that mentioned, that said, well, it was Helen that said, so parents see it as a child standing up for himself. <laughs> and then, so we mean, mean the education, the reorientation is deep. Yeah. Really. And yeah. I'm glad there's a behavioral yeah. analyst over yes, here. Behavior is yeah. important. It's it's important. Deep. So the thing, the thing about rights that you've said, I mean, what caught my attention is the fact that if Nigeria has ratified these rights, then why aren't we enforcing them? So Look, the fact that policemen can go into a school yeah. and with live ammunition and just start I shooting students yeah so uh, i mean that that's all we all we need to say rights are trampled on on this part of the of world course. so at some point we need to be start advocating for people's rights yes. to be upheld mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you see because if you just go by just the rights that people humans have you know that alone would set a lot of mm -hmm. boundaries and a lot of you know standards in place all right helen i'm sure um I would just bring it to your notice that do you know that there is actually a psychometric test that is used in the UK currently to determine the bully and the bullier? Wow. Please, we need it. I, <laughs> yes. Well, I, like you know, to, I remember I remember when I was trying to there's a particular school in GRA that is quite known for mm. the students being bullies. And um, I, they, they called me in and I spoke to the, you know, the, the counselor and said, look, you know what, we can solve this problem. We can just administer this particular test. Oh, yes, great. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And within the next, you know, the next time, oh, we don't think we should administer it. It's very sensitive at the moment. Blah, 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 blah and this and that. So that died. And it died because the parents were not yeah. ready to accept. Yeah, if yeah. the results came out, if my child is the bullier, Mm. <laughs> how am I going to take it? Mm -hmm. They were not looking at it from the point of this can help your system. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, the problem is that I, I'm not saying that schools are not doing the right thing. Some of them are really doing wonderful things. Sometimes it's actually the parents yes. that make a lot of these schools do what they do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I know yeah. that some schools, they want the best for the children. They do health checks. They do yeah. this. These are the same parents in their school yeah. that will go and petition them mm -hmm. for doing the right thing for their children. So I know that this whole Sylvester thing has become a very, very big issue. But what I also don't want us to do is, I don't want us to lump all the schools in the same category that we're lumping Dewen College. Because there are some schools that are actually doing a lot. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely I agree with you. You know, I and think you know, there's something that about, we can do yeah. in terms of, you know, when we're petitioning, when we're going forward, it has to take parents' involvement, school involvement, mm -hmm. government involvement. Mm -hmm. But Helen's hit something where if we can identify the schools that are doing it right, we can learn from how they're doing it right mm -hmm. and apply it um, on a wider, across board, yeah. yes, across, so, so, so across like board. So yeah. if there are people already in this space doing it right, yeah. then let's learn let's from learn them. Learn from them, yeah. Which is what you know. I was going to say about Helen that you know, is that thing they say about he who pays the piper and dictates the tune. Mm -hmm. That's it. So until schools are ready to say no, 
who do not mm -hmm. accept this kind of behavior, exactly. please mm -hmm. take your children away. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Until schools are able yeah. to make that stand. Mm -hmm. That's it. This thing will not stop. That's it. You know. Yeah. So you have to look beyond the school fees, yes. right, and say oh. that this is our, our standard. Yes. They are profit yeah. oriented. Yeah. No, so no, so not things all of them. are not yes. going to change Most, yes. if the educational system, the owners of the system, yeah. say no. Yes. And then that also now brings to the father, okay, how do you actually diversify your offering in such a way that parents don't hold you to ransom mm. yes. their children? Yes, how absolutely. do you push the educational system? Anyway, yeah. um, Tolu wraps the conversation up after the break.